Mary, some new sounds are coming from WAYL Radio these days. FM 94 is making some adjustments to its music format. News 11's Asha Blake joins us live from their studios this morning with more. Hi, Asha. Hi, Asha. Hi there, John. Hi, Amy. And yes, we are at WAYL. I had to practice that. I've been working on it all week, but I don't do it as well as David Hopp here, who's been here, oh, for quite some time. Now, David, uh, you start work at 5 o'clock in the morning, and you just don't play beautiful music. People think that, but that's not true. Not true. We play uh, contemporary music and new age music and original artist music, and we're with it. We really are. And you're pretty lively in the morning if you ever tune into this station. I try to be. Okay. As early as 5 o'clock is. <laughs> <laughs> I know. That's rough. And like David said, the format is changing. We had a chance to talk to Bruce Hansen last time we were out here, and it's not just Percy Faith anymore. W-A-Y-L has used the easy listening music format for the last 25 years. But yes, now they are playing more contemporary music to keep up with the times. On the playlist, Stevie Wonder, some jazz fusion, and new age music. The audience that we're looking at, which is basically a 35-plus adult audience, has a different musical heritage today than they had 20 years ago. The new Minnesota poll shows 79% of people are in favor of the Twins. You'll hear some news and weather on this 100,000-watt station, but not much. The push here is to convey moods through music. And since the majority of the station's audience is female, a picture of a typical listener sits in front of anyone who sits behind the mic. But if we can focus at that gal that we have a typical picture of, it gives us an idea of, yeah, that's the person that I'm talking to. That's the person I can relate to. See, there she is. I wasn't kidding. She's sitting right in front of David. Does she have a name, David, quickly? I call her Monique. Monique. Okay, that's not bad. Now, if you have a name for this woman who has no name, just call David. He'd love to hear from you.